Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, more cruise ships in the news and being held off the coast and... but it's not quite what you think. So a couple of Princess cruise ships have now been held off the coast and not being allowed to disembark their passengers. Uh, first one was the Regal Princess cruise ship and the reason for this one and the other cruise ship, the Caribbean Princess, is because the sailing that is affecting the Princess cruise ship in Los Angeles right now, well, the, the sailing before that, Princess had transferred a couple of the employees to other cruise ships and they just happened to be the Regal and the Caribbean Princess. So on the Regal there were a couple passengers, they had no signs, no nothing, no cold or flu like symptoms, anything like that, but they were put into, a ca into their own cabins and stayed there and were tested and that interrupted the Regal's cruise ship. In fact, it interrupted it so much that those passengers, those guys were clear and there was, there was nothing there. But Princess has gone so much now as they've cancelled the, the next cruise, the one that was supposed to sail Sunday, where they're going to be doing an entire sweeping and a cleaning and making sure no one on board, none of the crew members on board or anything like that show any signs. So. Princess is being proactive that way, especially since the big news out there has been with two of their ships, correct? So they are trying to show everybody that they're doing everything they possibly can to make sure that, you know, they're offering uh, the best protection that they can do uh, out there. So that being said, we also have the Garabian Princess also has a couple of crew members on board and they are currently getting ready to be uh, tested as well and but they are showing no signs of anything either so chances are that they will come up clear as well and they will then disembark all the passengers and everything will be fine hopefully fingers crossed and that goes into another question of now will princess perhaps cancel the next caribbean princess cruise and do the same thing that they were doing with the Regal. Will they start doing that for all their ships? Will all cruise lines start doing that for their ships? Just to show everybody that at least the crew members on board are all clear. And that way you, you, know, you don't have that worry of something was there before I got on the ship like has happened with the two Princess cruise ships so far. Again, remember the outbreaks have not been from passengers who were currently on the cruise ships. It was both incidents from passengers who had already left the cruise ship. <laughs> so that's when all this started. So if they do a, do a period where everyone is off and everyone is looked at and all the crew members are looked at, that might ease the minds of a lot, a lot of cruise passengers out there. Because honestly, I'm being inundated and everybody's inundated. Try call, like I said, try calling a cruise line. Try getting a hold of, I was on hold today with Carnival Cruise Line. I had a simple question that I can't do online. I was on hold for two and a half hours and do, it just hung up. It just hung up on me after two and a half hours. Not a fun situation. And I can only imagine what's going on out there for everybody wondering what's going on. And at least some of the cruise lines have done that future cruise where you're able to, you know, they postpone the date for final payments or you're able to get a future cruise credit. So if you're really, really concerned about it, you might want to look into those options as much as you can and uh, maybe just take a break for it right now. Um, hopefully, hopefully the cruise lines are going to get this under control as far as their perception of their own crew on board. And that way, you know, maybe stop transferring crew members right now stay with what you have make do with what you have and uh, make sure you're screening everybody really really well 
especially the crew, especially the crew. Well, I hope you appreciate this update. Let's hope the Caribbean princess has no problems getting everybody off and everybody turns out fine. I'm glad to see in a way the regal princess is doing that layover for seven days. It sounds like a good plan and perhaps more and more cruise lines should look into doing that. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Do you think that would help ease everybody's mind or you think it's just too late? You just think it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. Well, let me know down below and I hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.